Do you want to explore 625,000 LLM models and 137,000 data sets for free? Yes, you heard me right, for free. Let us dive into today's video on exploring LLMs with Hugging Face. Okay, uh, what we will cover in this video? What is Hugging Face? What are the options available? How to download a model for free? How to use a free models on Hugging Face? Before we dive into a demo, let us learn some theory about Hugging Face. This slide is too much of text. Bear with me. It's important to understand that the what does it Hugging Face contain. First of all, what is Hugging Face? Hugging Face is an open source AI technology company that specializes in natural language processing, that's NLP, and transformer-based models. They are best known for their transformer-based language models, pre-trained language models, and libraries that enable developers to build AI-powered applications. Here are some of key things about Hugging Face Transformers. Hugging Face is a maintainer of a Transformers library, which is a popular open source library for natural language processing, that's NLP task such as language modeling, text classification, and sentiment analysis. The library provides pre-trained models such as BERT, Roberta, and uh, DistillBit that can be fine-tuned for a specific NLP task and pre-trained models. I think Pace has developed a range of pre-trained models, including BERT, Roberta, DistillBert, and others. These models are trained or large data sets and can be fine-tuned for a specific NLP task such as language translation, question answering, and text generation. Then we have our data sets. Hugging Face provides a wide range of NLP data sets including text classification, sentiment analysis, named entity recognition, and more. These data sets can be used to fine-tune pre-trained models or to train custom models. Then we have Model Hub. Hugging Face has created a Model Hub, which is a centralized repository of pre-trained models, datasets, and other NLP resources. The Model Hub allows developers to easily search, download, and fine-tune pre-trained models. Then uh, we have Research and Collaboration. Hugging Face is a research-focused organization that collaborates with academia and industry partners to advance the field of NLP. They also provide resources and tools to help researchers and developers to work with transform-based models. Okay, let us go to official Hugging Face website that is uh, https www.huggingface.co as soon as you enter the URL, you are going to land, to the, land into this main web page, Hugging Face page. It looks sim something similar to this. And uh, I, if you know the model name, you can search here or you can navigate using this one of this um, navigation menu that's models, data sets, spaces. Let's go into models. So, as I mentioned earlier, the total number of models as of recording this video that is 625k um, and uh, the way uh, for example I can search a model here or I can search a filter using there are various filters we have okay so these models are uh, task uh, it's it's categorized based on task I can enter the task name and search it or I can look in the model in the various category like multi-model computer vision uh, NLP so natural language processing, audio and tabular reinforcement learning and other category. So each category has subcategory. Let's image text to text, visual or question and stream under computer vision. We have our depth estimation, image classification. So for example, let's click on image classification. While clicking on this, or uh, the way uh, you will find like uh, the models filter based on this. Uh, filter what you added that's computer vision under that image classification so in this I can filter it for example trending most likes most downloads let's take most downloads okay 
So let's go back to this. You will find uh, Google. That's a visual uh, vision transformer, right? Uh, vision transformer VAT model. And you will uh, you will see the description of this page, uh, description of this model. Uh, and uh, what are the supported libraries? That's a transformer PyTorch and TensorFlow, all of this and the number of downloads so far it received. And uh, how does this model train? For example, this model trained on uh, ImageNet 21K, that is 14 million images, and uh, or the resolution of uh, 224 cross 224, 224 plus 224, and fine tuned on ImageNet 2012, that's 1 million image. Exactly, you will find all the description about the training, how it is used, and uh, the intended use and limitation, then how to use. Or oh, for example, how do we use this programmatically as a sample or uh, using transformer library and this one, right? And uh, the training data where it is located and the purpose. And if if this particular model is learning any conditions, you may have to go through terms and conditions and agree. So all of the details you'll find. Along with that interesting, you can uh, you can use this model on this I think page site itself by using inference AP. For example, I can drop an image here and I can run it and check before I download if I want to use it. Okay. Let us check an image on the using inference AP. Okay. Let me drop an image which I downloaded. And it is asking you to please log in with your Agni Face account to run the widget. So what it requires is uh, you need to have a Agni Face account in order to use a, a, the Impact account is free to uh, sign up. Okay, um, you can sign up and you can check it, and this will be this will show the recent year year itself. So at the end of this, once you see the inference API, the result if you are happy, probably download a file. You go to files and uh, versions and you will see your files to download. This is how you you take a model, you test it and you download it for your own use. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me log into my account. I have signed up for the free account and I change this theme into dark. So that's why it looks different. Otherwise, it's all the same. So let's go back and check once again the same API. That's image classification and uh, most downloads. And this is the model and inference API. Let's uh, put the image again and voila. So image classification, this is classified. Uh, you can find the result here. Uh, the most highest rating is the most close match. And here it, it gives you all of the how it's from modern is trained, right? So, and here, then the other thing is, uh, the good thing about this is a community. So you can find uh, the other, a uh, few other users, they post the question, the answers, if you face any problem, you can post your question also. Okay. Okay, let me continue with my uh, profile, my logged in account to, to continue on this. So first, what we have seen is models. Now let's go to data sets. Okay. So when you click on the data sets, it is uh, similar to models. It has a uh, uh, task based uh, and also categorized under multi-model computer vision, then natural language, uh, processing, NLP audio, and deaf tabular. Okay, so on the total number of data sets, what we have as of uh, recording this video is 138k. And uh, for example, uh, let's go back to the same image classification and um, most downloads, right? Okay, so you can find image set 1k. If you remember the, the data set which we mentioned, which is mentioned in the same um, uh, Google uh, model, right? So if you go there again, um, you will find the data set card. It's information on the model. You will have model card. It talks about description and all of that uh, describes about model. And also 
before you download, you need to agree terms and conditions on this. So that's how this mod, this data set can be used. So until you agree this, it will not proceed. Or once you agree, you can go to files and versions, you can download. And this, at the same way, you have a community here. Uh, again, on this data set also. Okay. Okay, now uh, let's move on to the next uh, uh, topic that's spaces. What is spaces? Because these are uh, running workspace, basically ready to use um, models, which is available for you to uh, instantly check on the IBM base, right? With the various category. So you can find the uh, status of this space, basically whether it's uh, running, not running, running on zero or the specification. For example, let's take one of those. Uh, say DALI 3, basically it's a text to image creation model. Uh, let's try to do maybe neon holographic crystal cat. Let's run it. And wait for a minute. Voila, you got created the image. So you are, you are well, the advantage here is directly you can use the water here and you can experience and you can experience it and see it right. So the same way you have a lot of spaces, you can go ahead and explore this. So again, one condition here is you have to sign in for a free account to use this. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next thing. That is, uh, after the spaces, we have, these are the community spaces. Uh, it's running on this uh, hardware. There are a few, there are free hardware, there are paid one, all that, right? So let's let's uh, look at this collaboration and this one, and the pricing part. For example, uh, Agi Face Hub, that is uh, basically uh, host unlimited models, data sets and spaces, and it's free. Uh, forever, uh, create unlimited orgs and private repos, access the latest ML tools and open source. These are free and community support is free. And uh, spaces hardware, free CPU built for advanced spaces, seven optimized hardware. I mean, these are also zero dollar per hour. And also a pro account, enterprise sub -up, hub account, the various, then interface inference hit endpoints. Then we have a key base of uh, how with uh, the other other options what we have. Then spaces hardware, you see that these are the hardware specification what we have. Um, then uh, space, then this is the storage specification what it is, right? Then inference endpoints, these are the endpoints thing at hourly rate, the charges on that details what you have. Okay, so that's all pretty much I wanted to uh, show you today. So thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next video. Um, thank you.